Hello and welcome to Minute of the Apes, the daily podcast where we break down every minute of the Planet of the Ape movies one minute at a time. I'm your host, Todd. Across from me, I've got my buddies, Sean and Richard. Hey, happy February. Hello, everybody. Happy February 1st, Yay. to be exact. Yeah, correct. So, we are all the way up to Minute 84. Yeah. We're at Thursday in the week. We yeah. got this day and one more to go. Sean, do you want to tell us what's happening with Minute 84? We can do this. All right. Uh, we're going to start with our three escapees hiding behind a wall, and it ends with a carriage heading out. As of minute 84, we still got our two living humans, two confirmed dead, a shrewdness of apes, and a gaggle of humans. So, again, the beauty of day for night. That's my first note. Actually, you, you touched on it last, but day for night is what hit me. And it's just like, ugh. I just feel like I'm watching a Gilligan's Island I, episode I, I, or something. I really thought, because I was kind of fast forwarding and forwarding, that I thought that my screen had dimmed. And I'm like, why yeah. is my screen dim? Do you, you know. I, I wonder now with CGI if people do day from night as much, unless it's an indie film. I could see an indie doing oh. it if they can't afford it, but I don't yeah. know major releases. Do they do day for night that much? They, so they would have the budget for it. Yeah. We yeah. shot a web television series called The Variants uh-huh. on Zeus. Which you can find at where? The at the dot com. And we did that uh-huh. a couple of times. We actually shot daytime. Mm-hmm. And we just we just color corrected the, the video to make it look like it was nighttime. Right. So that, that leads to, though, with a big budget, would they need to worry about? I guess you could do day for night with CGI, to make it look real. Yeah. As opposed to if you're an indie type production like you guys were, you just color correct that. I, well, I'm just we, curious well, what people we didn't do. Have the light. We didn't have the yeah. lights necessarily. Yeah, that's right. what we're night, talking about. You know? yeah. yeah. I'm not. I'm not putting anybody down for it. I'm just curious oh, no. how much it's used anymore these days. Uh, it's just got to be about money. Well, and- I mean, in terms of day and night specifically, when you look at something like uh, Game of Thrones, mm-hmm. they actually take out colors yeah. to make it look like even more, more like night. winter. Of course they or do. More right. Like, you know, well, color stuff. correction now with CGI is totally different than it was back then because you can do exactly that. You oh, can yeah. paint it's it. It's crazy. It's crazy. You look at stuff. You look at people and their 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 hair, the colors. The you know they 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 took this they took the green out there yeah, if you the see red, ru- it's crazy vibrant and yeah if they, you see rough footage versus final shots yeah yeah that, that used to be with black and white how i loved that and i i'm gonna <clears throat> state this wrong but it was something like it may have even been young frankenstein when they shot the monster his makeup was purple or something like that so it read correctly and black and white and it, it, so it's didn't it, you talk about who's talking about the monsters being pink set? Was that you guys? It wasn't us. It wasn't us. Oh, <laughs> oh you, had a very, you brought something into it. It's my mother, mother minute of the, of the, of the, of the monsters <laughs> podcast. Of the monsters minute. Yeah, I want to say it was either somebody was telling me this in store. It was either the the Adams family or the monsters. The the sets were pink. I know that they did shoot right well in black and white. Yeah, it'd be something like that because I think pink would either, depending on how whether it's base against, would either read dark or lighter. And I know that they used to do that a lot with makeup in in the silent films that they would put different colors Yellows on to make them green, mm-hmm, to make them read differently. Make it work well, yeah. It's just an interesting aside. Um, so uh, UCB, our unnamed chimp boy, is that what, he hasn't gotten a name? I, yet. I, I, he doesn't have his name yet. UCB, except he, for my mistake. He We've really, got two escapees mm-hmm. and one and UCB young chimp. He UCB. has a really hard time for an ape scrambling up that little tiny wall that's right next to him. You notice that? It takes him about a good five or six seconds just to get up there. You but think, he was he was strong enough to take out Julius, but he can't take a wall. I know. You think that he would be able to just boogie on up there? Um, I, I'm going to be very blunt about this minute. It's you a very want, slow minute. This yeah. is one of those minutes where I, for a Thursday, do not expect a lot of revelations or action in this minute because it literally hits right on that cusp of one minute to the or to the next where nothing really. Where it's just them basically getting in the back of a car right. and riding out and then meeting up. They with, come from the jail cell. They're now kind of along a wall or or um, something uh, kind a of barrier a, that's, a barrier that barrier. And when you look above, you see the the um, outdoor right facility that they were in earlier, the nipple cage the nipple cage uh and they used to kind of run around a little bit you know so i i think probably the best thing to get into here is something richard threw to sean and i in a between going the midst. there's a deleted scene here that while we may stop down and give a little bit of information getting carriages and whatnot richard do you want to talk about it and it, it essentially would come after this scene yes yes so so they meet up with zira right zira mm-hmm. finds them and she kind of is annoyed a little with, bit chastising with, the, him, yeah. with the little boy. Like I told you not to bring the other one. Right. And he's like, he wouldn't leave her. And she's like, Oh, all right. Which again, brings home my point of maybe she was pregnant. Pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. 
They have a really odd exchange about clothes. Yes. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Here, I put had that too. On. Here, put this on. It smells. Now and she's like, like just like all all men stink. All smell. Yeah, stink. To I which, like, to which I want to know: Did she mean all male humans stink, or right. all males like chimps, orangutans, tans, haha, <laughs> and gorillas? Do all males stink in this right. society, or is it just these dirty, dirty humans? Well, and then we also finally get the final exchange when she basically tells Taylor to remember that all humans look alike yeah yeah she goes she goes all men look taylor alike. just keep quiet we may get away with this remember that all men look alike like to most, most apes, apes. Yeah. well how, this is they kind of laid probably, it out there yeah this yeah exactly this is the probably the biggest moment we're actually talking about race well you know the, you, the, the, the biggest joke that you've ever heard that's terrible and, and this is what she's saying right now i do also like it's, it's as transparent a moment as the hear no evil see no evil yeah. speak no evil it is so obvious what is happening at that moment it, it felt like the same kind of slap it's not subtle at all it was just like bam yeah but to those audiences it may have been a huge reveal of oh yeah wait right. i've said that about somebody before you know they could be thinking that was Who knows? the line that i mean it stands out to me because i'm looking at the words on a page and you guys were watching it but did it stand out to you guys when you saw this moment oh absolutely yeah. Yeah, totally scream that's why, had, that's, a, that's why i was in my notes in fact i think i for this whole minute, I only have three whole notes with a couple of sub notes, and that was the one that I had underlined was that was the moment of this minute. I do also like that UCB was saying, "What did you want me to get you a new ape suit or whatever?" I did think that was funny yeah. too. So, I, I, could he get me one of the high collared ones like Zero wears? Because I really dig that. I need the front breast pocket, please, to keep my <laughs> papers and notes. I like in. mine double breasted. So we've we've got this we've got this daytime being shot as nighttime. We've got this kind of muddy scene. We've got Zira kind of uh, commanding them all to get in the back of this little um, cart, almost prison-like transport, mm-hmm. if you will. And there was another scene that the script I have basically has them in peril, trying to leave the city. And there are some uh, hunters on that uh, are approaching the wagon. It calls them guerrilla leaders. And they get stopped, right? Hold it. And, and the leader's like, Dr. Zira, our wagon broke down. I'm afraid we'll have to commandeer yours. So now we have that like stressful moment of we're What's not going to make it out. Yeah. Right. We're, this, no, we're going to get right. caught. We're going to get busted. And so Zira and her nephew have to kind of come up with a lie. Uh, you can't. I've got two sick humans in the cage. We're taking them to the chief at zoo. And the leader points to his own. The real leader points to his own wagon and says, we bagged two live ones today. I'll have to ask you to take them along. Just this kind of weird, again, back on the whole zoo. More drama. Uh, vivisection, circus. They, they're like game, these are game animals at this point with this leader saying, well, we bagged some live ones today. Let's take them as well. Well, and t- what we, so what we t- talked about in, in between recording was why do you cut this scene? This scene yeah. doesn't make it. And what Sean and I both said, because it introduces no new information Nation. other than adding tension. Right. It's not necessary to the scene because we already know that they better get out of there. With, they, they're under a six hour window, which some of those hours have already evaporated. Yeah. They, they have no time. They have to get, get away. Get the hell away. So it, if, if we explore this scene, then that time becomes even shorter. They have to get away. So to it, real quick, um, why in this lead scene, why are hunters bagging live animals? I mean, oh, if I go to hunt, I hunt to kill either for a trophy or for meat. I'm, right. I'm saying that as an I in general, not I as me personally. But who are these hunters that are going out to just capture something in a net or something? What What is their reward, their purpose for doing this? I don't understand. Well, they, make they, sense. their wagon mm-hmm. broke down and they want to take over the wagon that Zira and, and her nephew have. And in the back is, you know, uh, Taylor and Nova. And... um Zira kind of panics. is like, no, no, my animals are diseased. Leave them alone. They're diseased, I tell you. And they open up the back and see Taylor and uh, Nova. Mm-hmm. And the first hunter goes, give him a taste of fire. So they, they, they wave these torches back at, in, into the into the. And the Taylor's wagon. already been exactly. burnt once. Yeah, exactly. And the young nephew has to go stand back. He's dangerous. And Zira's like, he's rabid. His bite is fatal. <laughs> you would die in agony. So. They kind of are able to craft this story to scare the hunters to leave them alone and let them move on. And you hear the first hunter say, and maybe it was the whole point to make this point again. He goes, they treat those animals better than they treat us. 
Hmm. And the leader says, I still say the only good human is a dead human. So there, there might've been two points, give them the peril of leaving in the middle of the night, mm-hmm. right. the fact that they might get busted, but they're also just kind of driving home again, this, this thing, how much the, they're hated and that kind of stuff. The, yeah. The racist angle of this. I, I could see if they built in a moment of, they escape the city. Then we have those kind of shots where they're riding over the countryside and riding and, and we, you know, we, we know that they've been going a long way and suddenly they get almost busted. But yeah. It, Otherwise, it just, just has that feeling of, yeah. oh, it's false starting does in the, the escape. Does the minute end before the daytime switches? Yes. The time of day switches. So, y- yes, so it's it does. still nighttime it's still when night, it's yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then I say nothing. I yep. mean, I hate to do this, but it's a super short minute in that regard. The, the most interesting thing being that toss away scene. This, this extra scene that was supposed to be in there to kind of show their, their the danger of their. Yeah, that would have been. Right. Actually, the toss away scene, I think, would have happened in the the next minute if, because it hap- does this scene happen when they're on the road the, the well it, yeah it, it would definitely happen in the minute so, uh, this, this would have happened yeah. within the minute what so oh, you're saying that people came up before they left and brought them in no they they got in the wagon started to move oh and then, then they got harassed they, on they the hadn't road they headed out yet okay they got harassed there and then because the the next cut moment which i guess we can't talk about just kind of jumps yeah right yeah well no the this minute ends with people not having left yet We're, okay well then right. this, this was technically the next and minute, next I minute think. i think but okay. that's all right because we didn't have that much to talk about in this minute. Okay. and it's a cut no. scene so it doesn't technically yes count. doesn't count doesn't it's count. not in the movie <clears throat> thank whatever. you thank you play again there we go. um okay that's it for Thursday, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's go to Friday, guys. Uh, you let's know what? This, I'm looking forward to it. Let's get it done. Okay. Well, that does it. You can always check us out on our website, minitheapes.com. But most of all, I want to remind everyone to go subscribe to us, rate us, talk about us, let people know so that they can find us. They can find us on Twitter. They can find all kinds of things they want. But for my buddies, Richard and Sean, thank you, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you, guys. The minute of the